Hello, let's start with another interesting problem. So they have told us that given the root of a binary search tree, rearrange the tree in order so that the leftmost node in the tree is now the root of the tree and every node has no left child and only one right child. So let's understand this using example. So basically this is our binary tree and we have to convert it to this. So phi uh, is our root node and it will start and first it will uh, check for left elements. So left three is there. Then three will check for its left, two is there, one two will check for its left, one is there. Okay, so basically what happens in in order travels are same thing. So one will be uh, put first. So one should return first, and then one will check for its right, nothing is there, so it'll go back. Two, then two will check for its right, nothing is there, null is there, so it'll return back, and then it'll go back to three. Now three has a right element four. So four and four has nothing in left, four has nothing in right, so four then 4 will be allotted after 3 and so on it will return to 5 or 5 will go, um, check its right so 6 and then 6 will uh, check its right now um, before allotting uh, 8 will check its left so left element is there 7 so when 7 returns then 8 will be allotted and then 9 will be allotted so basically this is what we have to do so another example is given 5 and 7 so basically we have to go to leftmost first 1 and then we have to check um, back, so 5 and then 7. So this will what be allotted. So let's understand the logic of this code. Hello, so let's start with the logic of the code. So let's declare this as our root node. Okay, so this is our root node. Now what will be a strategy is, uh, see we have to uh, check elements in order, right? So our strategy should be to check everything to the left of this node right so first we'll check everything to the left of the node because left only a smaller elements are stored right so everywhere you can see suppose 3 was the root node left to it is smaller element 2 right to it is bigger element 4 right so our strategy will be to just check everything to the left of it so starting with 5 our root node we'll check everything till the uh, left node is reached uh, that doesn't become null so 5 5 will go to 3 3 will check to 2 and 2 will check to 1 and then 1 becomes left of 1 is null so it will return back and then we can uh, add 1 okay so 1 will be our first element that we are adding now next element that we should add let's see how we will obtain that so now 1 has uh, 1 we have got now 2 1's right we will check now 2 1's right nothing is there right 1's right has nothing so it will just return and then we will add next element so now we will add 2 okay now we have added 2 now going back now two's right also nothing is there two's right also nothing is there so that will also return and now we can add three okay now we can add three now uh three's right four is there okay so we'll check for four if four's right if four's left has anything four's left has nothing so we can add four right four is clear we can add four now we'll check four's right four's right nothing is there so we can return back so then this will also return so now for the uh, root of three left side is also written right side is also written and then we'll go back to 5 so now 5 for 5 side left has returned right so we can add 5 so next we'll add 5 so this is separate not to confuse so this is what we have to return so this is what we have to return this is the thing we have to return and this is our actual uh, binary tree okay now to 5 uh, left everything is clear so we can add 5 uh, in our uh, tree now going to five's right five's right has six right so uh, five's right has six now uh, checking six left so six has nothing in left so six has nothing in left so its left will return then we can add six okay so six is added now checking to six right six right we will check eight is there right so eight is there so eight will check its left first so it's left is 7. Now to 7's left nothing is there. So it will return. So this has written. So 7's left is nothing. So we will add 7. Now going back. So now uh, 8's left has written. Right? 8's left was 7. 7's left was null. That returned. So then 7 returned. Then 7 was 8's left. That has written. Now we will. 8's left is clear. Everything has written. So we will add 8. Now moving on to 8's right. So 8's right is uh, 9. So we'll add 9 okay 
now we'll return back so eight's right has written after eight's right has written it will return back to six and six will return back to five and then five will return back to our function so this will be our strategy now for this we'll have to add another um, pointer also so we'll call it uh, zero sorry another node we'll have to add so we'll call it zero because see something has to hold this right something has to hold this initially so that we'll call pointer and something has to traverse throughout right when we are going left we are going right so something has to traverse so that we'll call head so initially we'll add zero so that something is there to hold uh, the initial value so this should be a strategy so we'll write the code then you'll understand it better so let's start coding for this so basically uh, let's start with what we have to do first so first let's declare a recursive function where you're going to use recursion so i'll just call it binary search tree so short form for that i'll just call it bst so i've declared a recursive function and i'm going to pass to that my own root okay and then i have to return something uh, back from this recursive function that will be the output right i'll send the output back which will get printed so i have to basically send the starting node so basically this is what we have to do now let's uh, declare the recursive function but before declaring the recursive function bst i'll declare a head and pointer node so i'll declare a head and pointer node so tree node star head I'll declare it set and new uh, so uh, i'll declare to its constructor variable i will have to pass uh, values to declare it so this is the way to do it so tree node star head is equal to new tree node and i'll give its value zero so that you can give any random value doesn't matter it won't even matter in the last i'm just uh, declaring it so that it holds the topmost node and now i'll declare pointer for traversing so declaring the pointer which is going to traverse throughout so tree node star pointer and let's call it ptr for short and it's going to start with head okay so then this is going to uh so pointer is going to hold and um head is going to uh traverse okay so my head is going to traverse throughout and my pointer is going to hold this head pointer initially so that it doesn't get lost okay now let's uh, move on to declaring the recursive function so in c plus plus we'll also have to declare the type so i'll declare it as a void so void bst and it's receiving a root node right so i'll have to give tree node star root so that's what it is now let's start with this so first condition will simply be if root is null whenever root becomes null right you have to simply return okay so this will be the first condition now uh, when we have got hold of the root node it should check left side it should check if left side any value is smaller then it right so because it has to go in order wise so this should be the order through which it has to go so it'll just check if uh, left side of its value is smaller like 5 will go to 3 first 3 will go to 2 2 will go to 1 and if left side is cleared then it will go back to our root node so you have to keep on checking if the left side um, has values or not so we'll have to uh, do this recursive call so bst of we'll have to do root left so roots left so it'll keep checking until it becomes null if it becomes null it will return so after it has returned that means left side no more smaller values than that are there okay then we can uh, store this value into our uh, binary tree so to store that value what we'll have to do is so heads right so head is the topmost right so heads right that is to the zero thing we are going to attach uh, now we are going to attach one in this example so to zero we are going to attach one so so one would have returned back and come so now we have to attach one so heads right that is we are going to declare new tree node and we are going to give the same value that has returned so roots value basically that will allot a new uh, root that will attach to one and its value also will be stored so zero is attached to one now this is our binary t zero's right is holding one now we'll also have to make head is equal to head star right so that it can go to next next time it'll allot something it can go to this okay now uh, we'll also so left has written and it has come back to the root now root has to check if right side also some elements are there or not 
and so uh, for taking right side we'll have to again give uh, bst and we'll have to give root right so we'll just check recursively again if the right side has any values or not and again the same thing will happen right so right node uh, nodes will get cleared off so basically this should uh, be our function and uh, finally it will return so you can give a return here in the end if you have any confusion so, so that you know after the right side has returned then um, everything is cleared and it will go back to the next node you can even avoid this return because it's just a void function so anyway after the statement it's anyway going to reach the end of the uh, function and it's going to return automatically okay now what we have to return so re we have to return the pointer element that is holding the top but pointer will be holding zero right because pointer was declared as head and head is holding uh, this um, root that has zero in beginning so basically you should return pointers right so that it starts from one so so that you will have one two three four five six seven eight nine return and i'll run and check if, if it works and i'll submit and check see so yeah, it's working